so today we are going to be reading a brand new book called The Paperboy. And I don't know if you know this, but whenever you get papers or mail, there's someone that delivers that paper. Let's read our book to find out who delivers the papers in The Paperboy. Our book was written by Dav Pilkey, and the illustrator is also Dav Pilkey. Let's read to find out what this book is all about. The mornings of the paper boy are still dark, and they are always cold, even in the summer. And on cold mornings, the paper boy's bed is still warm, and it is always hard to get out, even for his dog. But they do. And softly, they step down the quiet hall, past the door where the paper boy's father and mother are asleep, are sleeping. Past the door where his sister is asleep. I wonder where he's going. And down to the kitchen where they eat from their bowls. to the garage where they quickly fold their papers, snapping on green rubber bands and placing them in a large red bag. It's a big bag of papers to deliver. It's hard to ride a bike when you are loaded down with newspapers, but the paper boy has learned how to do this and he is good at it. The paper boy knows his route by heart, so he doesn't even think about which house to pedal to. Instead, he is thinking about other things, big things, small things, and sometimes he's thinking about nothing at all. His dog, too, knows this route by heart. He knows which trees are for sniffing, he knows which birds. He knows which bird he knows which bird baths are for drinking, which squirrels are for chasing, and which cats are for growling at. All of the world is asleep, except for the paper boy and his dog, and this is the time when they are the happiest. But little by little, the world around them wakes up. The stars and the moon fade away and the skies become orange and pink. This looks like it's changing from night to day slowly. And when the paper boy has delivered his last newspaper, he and his dog race home, and his empty red bag flaps behind him in the cold morning air. Soon they are back home. It is still dark inside, but the sounds of morning are all around. His father and mother are awake and talking softly in their bed. And his sister is downstairs watching the Sunday morning cartoons. And back inside his own room, the paper boy pulls down his shade and crawls into bed, which is still nice and warm. And while all of the world is waking up, paper boy is going back to sleep and his dog is sleeping too. Their work is done. And now is the time for dreaming. Wow, friends, that was such a great book. Do you know what I noticed in this book? When he was riding his bike, you could see his shadow 
in the water. The shadow was caused by the light from the moon shining onto him and the water. So he could see his shadow in the water. Isn't that so cool? Have you ever seen your shadow? Either when it's really sunny, seeing your shadow on the sidewalk or in the sand at the beach, or maybe at night with the street lights when it shines on you and you see your shadow on the ground. Have you ever seen your shadow before? I also want to know, when did the paper boy finally go back to sleep? When did the paper boy finally go back to sleep? I can't wait to hear your answers. Okay, room three. See you next time.